Hello everyone and welcome to today's reading. If you are new here, I am the Apocrypha. It is a pleasure to meet you. If you are returning, welcome back, soul family. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. As always, I hope that all is well. I know I already said that, but... If you are interested in a private reading, I am available. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse already coming out. This is the Shaman. Someone has been debating on where to put their finances or their energy. This can be in regards to... Um, investments i'm seeing like a cd or i'm seeing different things like that i'm seeing investing in a home or a property or a vehicle or something of that sort um, i'm also getting another message that perhaps you are somebody who works with energies perhaps you are a shaman a reiki healer a practitioner of some sort to help a lift people and find stability in their lives i'm seeing kundalini energy i'm seeing shrooms sacred spiritual hallucinogenic trips um ayahuasca ten of pentacles in reverse the minotaur For somebody, it has been difficult to maneuver around the inner, what's the word, the inner, I was going to say Leviathan, the inner, well, it's a maze, labyrinth, there you go, the inner labyr labyrinth. Somebody is struggling to maneuver around that or find their way. Somebody is feeling lost right now is what I'm getting. This may be in matters of the heart and matters of stability. For some, this, this can also be in some kind of spiritual practice. I know you fell down here. Ooh. Oh no. I lost the card. Fuck. And I saw it go down slowly too. I was like, no. Hold up. There it is. Sorry about all that. So anyways. Six of Pentacles Arachne. I heard Weaver, Weaver Dream Weaver as well. I don't know if some of you have been practicing astral projection or lucid dreaming. But I'm definitely getting a message here about that. Weaver of Fates, I heard. I'm seeing a spider spinning their web. Every web is different. Don't compare your web or your home or what you have to other people. Everyone has different circumstances. 
instead of being bitter over what somebody else has that seems like it's more than you work on yourself to make shit happen in your life is what i'm seeing and then i just split it and i see the devil so there could be addictions in regards to um certain aspects in your life that you're trying to move away from I didn't pull the card out but let's see. removing the veil removing the lies before your eyes is what I heard and what I see because she's like holding the webs and I see like she's moving them spinning webs of lies and as I said that the death card is at the bottom change and transformation this death card also gives a six of swords vibe to it it's about time to move forward and to move away from what no longer works for you what's keeping you stuck what's holding you bound We have the Five of Wands, Chimera, the Five of Cups, Mermaid, 55 may be significant to you, Page of Wands, Necromancer. You may be seeing 555 quite a bit. Maybe 5 is a number that is very significant to you. Five is a number of change and transformation. It is also like the middle ground. You have a choice to choose one way or another. You are at a crossroads. I saw Hecate in my mind. Decisions need to be made towards what you're going to put your time, your effort, your energy towards. Hmm. I heard lapping waters. I'm seeing like, like the ocean hitting the rocks, eroding the rocks over time. But you are persistent in, you have to know if things have not changed and you've been persistent, is it because that is not for you and it is not meant for your energy and therefore it is keeping you preoccupied and distracted or is it because you are trying to make something happen too fast that is something that happens over time or that will take more time to happen I can hear the ocean and I can see again like I could see waves and I could see the water going up to the shore and then pulling back from the shore and I can see that motion and now I see the moon if you've been wanting to work with the moon this is a call for you to do so also if you've been wanting to tap more into your feminine side then this is a call for you to do so or even if you want to tap more into your masculine side, I'm seeing that there is this balance here. It will be different for different people. Page of Wands, Necromancer. Somebody here may be into necromancy. I'm seeing it is important 
when working with the dead or working with past people to always have the utmost respect it's not just about raising the dead and having them work for you and be your slave that's not okay I'm seeing someone who is respectfully working with the dead I don't know if you have wanted to or if you currently work at a graveyard or if you've thought about it or working around death I'm seeing like a coroner, I'm seeing a uh, funeral home. I'm also seeing somebody who works at a historical location, who knows that that location is haunted and a part of them wants to help those spirits pass on peacefully. And seeing paranormal investigations. Now, honestly, I hate when people say ghost hunting. I think that's a disrespectful term. I don't think we should be hunting ghosts. I think paranormal investigating is more um, professional and sounds less... I don't know. I, I think it, it sounds better and it sounds more respectful in my opinion. Um, so I'm seeing that. There's this energy also connecting to your past lives. Now I'm seeing there is a need to release and stop manipulating yourself and others. I feel like you already know this. For some of you, you've been fighting that. Interesting. I will not pull them, but I just split and I saw these energies. Queen of Wands in reverse, Lilith, and Four of Pentacles in reverse. It should not. Igna. Hmm. So she's a Naga, or what are they called? A. Um, starts with a G. Hmm. Your feminine energy might be very imbalanced right now. Or if you are somebody who does or doesn't tap into your feminine energy, I don't know if this is just that you've been disrespecting women or something here about this lack of balance in regards to feminine energies, either internally and or externally. Six of Wands, Golem. You will be recognized for the changes and the transformations that you bring upon yourself and people around you. I'm seeing if you've been wanting to work with um, nature spirits. I'm seeing all sorts of nature spirits. I'm seeing golems, some kind of sprites, fairies, pixies, gnomes, um, elementals, working with the elements. I'm seeing elemental fey. But I'm not seeing it as like even though this person has conjured up this golem and they are in a ring of fire, I am not seeing it as having control or seeking to control these beings. I'm seeing it as having this love and appreciation for these beings taking their time to um, work with you. Always have the utmost respect for the energies that you work with. No matter what side they come from or whatever. I'm seeing bringing energy to life, manifesting energy, working with different beings and different energies.
there has been for some of you some success or some recognition on the other side in the spiritual realm you have been recognized and seen for your potential or for the workings that you have done i heard like you are there are those on the other side grateful for your work for some of you two of swords in reverse ghost so i feel like this is reiterating there must be a decision made you choose your path what path are you going to choose and sometimes we feel like we don't have a choice but there are still times that we make the choice in how we go about something this is strange but i'm seeing somebody who knows that they might have like a felony or like who knows they're in trouble with the law and the law is looking for them i'm seeing you can either wait for the law to come and knock your door down and get your ass out or you can go straight to them and have it more peaceful and probably have your sentence lowered because you went to them I feel like that is like maybe for only one person or maybe you know somebody going through something like that and that might be like an extension of a message that you can bring forward to this person at that point what they decide to do is on them but I'm seeing like go peacefully if you did wrong you already know it like there's no point in fighting it and then don't fight it and act like you deserve like a shorter sentence no um and then i'm seeing again with working with the dead or working with the past working with spirits um i'm seeing somebody who may live in a haunted house or know somebody who does who wants to help the spirit not all spirits want help some of them you will have to force out of your space um, and some of them just want help or some of them want to stay and protect the space that they grew up in or whatever the case is in my situation or what I think what fell was the death card by the way we'll end with this in my case, if I lived in a haunted house, of course, I've had situations happen that I've experienced in houses that we've lived in before. Like, I've seen shadows, I've seen things happen, and I've had, like, weird dreams and, like, different things. But I think, like, if I lived in a haunted house and the spirit that was haunting the house wasn't, like causing harm to anybody then I think I'd be the kind of person like well if we can coexist in peace then like you live here too but if there's not going to be peace and you're going to try to run me out of my home then like you can get the fuck out um, so I'm seeing somebody fight for their home it's not going to be easy um, but it's up to you not everyone has the type of money to just break a lease and break a mortgage and just like sell their house and all of that kind of thing. So be mindful of that. If you're looking into buying a property or a home, do your research. Because we did mention property and homes at the beginning of this reading, so that may be significant to you. Again, Death Card, this is about change and transformation. This is the Scorpio energy as well. Water sign. There's also this Hermit energy. When you are alone, you are able to work through the issues of your past. Work through your emotions. Work through... The difficulties and the challenges and the things that keep you bound and stuck and held back but it's up to you to transform it I don't know if 13 is a lucky number to you or an unlucky number to you but I feel like 13 may be significant and I feel like it's important for you to look into the meaning of 13 I don't believe in unlucky numbers 
I don't believe that any number is evil or bad. Um, I think that's nonsense. <laughs> that's bullshit in my opinion. Um, but to each their own. Some people are superstitious. I am not. I believe what you believe exists for you. But I don't necessarily believe that to be the truth for everybody. But that's just my opinion. The energy you give into a situation or into something, you are creating your own reality. Um, so I feel like somebody had to hear that. If you've been thinking, like, am I creating my own, like, destructive thoughts, like, are my thoughts holding me back? Are my thoughts keeping me stuck? Or are they creating my own bad luck or something? Then I feel like the answer is yes. Because you're not viewing things for the truth of what they can be. You're viewing things from a negative point of view to where you're manifesting your own blockages for somebody in particular. Okay, so we'll end it there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that it brought some clarity and perspective into your situation. If you're interested in a private reading, please let me know. And yeah, check out my YouTube channel and my socials. And be aware if, this, if you're watching this on my other social media accounts that my YouTube account always has priority over every single video that I post. So if you'd like to keep up to date with the videos that I post, then consider watching my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, I will have links on everything down for the video on YouTube, so you can check it out there. And yeah, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, all that stuff. It really does help um, the algorithm. It really does help put my content out there for other people who need to hear it, need to see it, need to get the message. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time I see you. Bye.